Welcome to Restaurant Influencers presented by Entrepreneur. My name is Sean Walcha, founder of Cali Barbecue and Cali Barbecue Media. I want to give a special shout out to Toast, our primary technology partner for believing not only in restaurants, but believing in digital storytelling. Thank you so much for this platform in life, in the restaurant business, and in the new creator economy. We learn through lessons and stories. Today, we have a very special guest. We have Brett Sussman, who is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Cabbage from American Express. And we are here to talk about all kinds of things fintech and all kinds of things social. Brett, I can't tell you how excited I am to have you on the show. Welcome. to. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be here as well, Sean. So we're going to start with our favorite random question, which is where in the world is your favorite stadium, stage, or venue? So I am a uh, diehard Oklahoma Sooners college football fan, and uh, my favorite venue is going to the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, to watch the Oklahoma-Texas game, half of it dressed in crimson, half of it dressed in burnt orange, nothing better with the Texas State Fair in the background. Amazing. So we're going to go to the Cotton Bowl. You're, you're the first Sooners fan that I've had on the show, so that's very cool. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to go to the Cotton Bowl and we're going to convince Toast, Entrepreneur, uh, Atmosphere, Davo. We're going to get American Express and Cabbage involved. But we're going to put on a TEDx hospitality conference. So not the normal conferences where you go, but this is going to be an inspiring talk. And I'm going to put you right on the 50-yard line. I'm going to give you a huge stage. I'm going to give you two minutes to let us know, Brett, how did you become the VP of, Amer of Cabbage from American Express? Sure. So, you know, I would say my passion is my whole family is small business owners, my grandparents, aunts, uncles, father, sister. If I don't work on behalf of entrepreneurs and small business owners, I don't get to come home for Thanksgiving each year. And I love that turkey, Sean. So, um, you know, I, I really have been focused for specifically the last 12 years on the needs of small business owners. Right. And it's really hard being a small business owner and an entrepreneur. And what I've really enjoyed is what I call being an entrepreneur and how do we build things inside a larger organization. And that's really what, what Cabbage from American Express is. It's marrying Cabbage, which we bought a FinTech two years ago, which is a digital cash flow management suite to make your life easier. It has a place for your money at rest with a business checking account. It has a place for your money in with payments and invoicing. It has places if you need money out, like loans or credit cards across border. And then it gives you insights all in one place. And so couldn't be more excited sort of building on my personal legacy to providing these tools to entrepreneurs. I love it. It, it gets me really excited. I don't know how for five years podcasting across multiple platforms and now with the show with Entrepreneur, how we haven't dove into the fintech space. But as somebody that's opened up a business in 2008 at the height of the economic recession as a single unit barbecue restaurant and now grown that to five locations through a pandemic and now we're a media company as well creating content. Um, it's really exciting for me to have conversations with people like you that are moving the needle for small business owners. Yes, so much of what we believe true in our heart is digital hospitality. How do we provide the most important tools that a business owner needs so that we can provide hospitality to our customers, to our clients, to our village, to our county, to our community? Can you tell me about your, your first of all, your entry into working for American Express before the cabbage? Sure. You know, I, I spent a lot of my early years working on, on corporate strategy across American Express. And then really, you know, I got very interested, as I said, in the small business owner segment and how do we meet their needs. And I think we were meeting their needs in a tremendous way with our best in class charge credit cards. I think people use that to fund their business. And that's a very valuable piece of the toolkit. But the more small business owners I talk to, I realize they're very ancillary needs they need about like, I want to check my cash. I want to earn some interest on that cash, right? I need to work on my invoicing. I need to maybe take a loan because I need to open a second location or something in my kitchen broke or I want new signage, right? And so that really has been kind of the journey of how 
how do we meet more needs for our small business owners over time? And I think you put it so eloquently, often they did not go into business because they wanted to run their back office, right? They love right. food, they love creating, they love, they love relationship building, right? And, and so that, this is a necessary part of being a business owner. And so how can we make that as easy and seamless as possible? Can you tell me tell me about Cabbage? Why was it why was it acquired by American Express and what was the strategy behind it? Yeah, so we, Cabbage um, was an Atlanta based fintech for about twelve or so years, and really had that aspiration of are the small business owners being left behind by the bigger financial institutions, and why can't I just use an online experience, give you some of my bank account and data all online in less than 10 minutes. And you can decision whether you should give me a loan. And it really wanted to be that lifeline to earlier stage businesses, newer businesses. And so that I would say was very similar to what we were thinking about at American Express is we wanted to broaden our suite of products. And so it was very complimentary, the suite that Cabbage had of, can we give a business checking account to folks? That's really important when you're becoming a business to separate your personal and your business expenses. How can we give them longer term loans than the duration we're getting? So it really was this great marrying of cultures and marrying the best of a fintech and a best of, I would say, a very in innovative traditional financial institution. So what's really exciting for me is that this show has provided us a platform reaching millions of people, um, restaurant owner specific, creator specific, to understand that we're all storytellers. And technology has put us in a place where I don't need to go and create TikTok. I don't need to create YouTube. All these platforms already exist. But when you think from a financial standpoint, when somebody like American Express and Cabbage cares enough about the small business owner to understand, well, let's poll, let's do surveys, let's find out how are business owners getting information to their customers? How are they building their business? You guys have done the work to find out that information, and that has resulted in a new partnership. Can you talk about the, the work that you've done to, to, to pull customers to, to find this information? Sure. And I'm going to start with the importance of, of social media. And I think we all see it in, in our personal lives, but it's so important as a business owner. Some of the data from our study shows that seven in 10 consumers get new information about product stores from their social media feeds. Not surprising. And 90% of small business owners, when we talk to, says that social media is a great way to drive traffic into their stores. And they actually believe it's a better way these days than traditional media. It can be better than TV. It can be better than promotions. And so they are incredibly interested in how do I take advantage of marketing, right, in a new way? And that may not be their passion. That may not be the area where they started this business to get that autonomy. And so recently, American Express partnered with TikTok to start what we call the Shop Small Accelerator. Amazing. This was in, in, in celebration of a holiday that's been around for 13 years called Small Business Saturday. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving, sandwiched between that Black Friday and that Cyber Monday. And it really is a day for small business owners and to celebrate and be thoughtful as a consumer of where am I spending my dollars? And one of the things we found in our Shop Small Impact study was every dollar you spend at a small business, 68 cents of that stays in your community. And I can't echo enough how important it is to be in a community with vibrant small business owners. And so we recently finished that, that shop small holiday and, and $18 billion were spent with small businesses wow. on that day, which is, which is fantastic. But I think what we're even more excited is the tools that we're putting out in the marketplace. And so this, this collaboration with TikTok really is, we worked closely with a set of creators to say, what are some of those tips and tricks if you want to get your small business owner on TikTok, right? And, and it, you know, the tips were around being authentic. How do you use hashtags? How do you use trends? How do you make sure you have your website in your bio? Things you just may not have even thought of. 
And it also gives you a hundred dollar advertising credit. So you can test onto Amazing. the platform and see what it does for you. And so that has been a really exciting collaboration, something that I hope is, is really actionable to small business owners. Because you know, when you look at demographics, we see that both Gen Z and millennials are spending an outsized amount of time on TikTok and really looking to make purchase decisions on TikTok. And so it's really important for you to be there in a meaningful way. And now a quick break from restaurant influencers to welcome our newest sponsor to the show. And that is Davo Sales Tax. Davo is an incredible company. I remember when we first opened up our restaurant in 2008, Cali Barbecue, we were struggling to figure out how to automate sales tax, how to have enough money in our account to file our quarterly taxes. I am so grateful that now today we have found Davo and they are a sponsor of the show and they are excited to help other business owners no longer have to become tax collectors. Davo does it all for you. They take care of the compliance. They take care of the collecting. They take care of the filing. Get your first month free by going to davosalestax.com slash influencers. Let them know that we sent you. Davo is an incredible company. We're grateful to have them on the show. They integrate with all the top POS companies, including Toast. davosalestax.com slash influencers. Automate your sales tax today and get back to running your business. Yeah, it's you know when when I read the 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 press release when I saw that you guys were were partnering with TikTok it it means so much to me because I spend so much time talking to restaurant owners and business owners and mid-sized businesses and publicly traded companies about the power of media and social media to be specific because it's not like legacy media where it where it can be cost prohibitive if you're willing to share your story, if you're willing to use the tools, if you're willing to use the smartphone in your pocket, you don't need to go and create these platforms. They're there. But by American Express lending their credibility, saying we are partnering with TikTok in a strategic way to let business owners know people are publishing more on their Instagram page, TikTok page, Facebook page, than they're updating their website. That's just a reality. But the website is actually going to drive commerce. You know, what we talk about is this convergence of content, commerce, and communication. That all happens on the smartphone. So once we get back to that storytelling, but you need the credibility side. And when you have an institution like American Express that has done a phenomenal job promoting small businesses, can you talk about the, the Small Business Saturday initiative? Sure. So this was really born 13 years ago. We're coming out of the, the Great Recession. And we really felt that small business owners in some way had been left behind. And we really wanted to promote a day that was focused on small business owners. And, and at the time, you know, we would give some promotions if you spent at a small business, right? And, and got the word out. And over the years, I would say, you know, this has just become viral in the in the effect of like communities have just adopted it as their own right it's the each small town celebrates it as a day we've had you know very Amazing. big celebrities politicians president obama shop small that day of one of his local bookstores right and and i think it really wants to change the conversation right it's a real really important time for small businesses is the holiday season. This can mean the difference between it being profitable or being not profitable. And how thoughtful are we being in this age where everything is very easy at your fingertips of where we're buying and what does that say about our values? And I think we wanted to put that a little bit more in the collective consciousness, right? Of supporting that small business in your town or online is really important. Right. And maybe it'll, it'll cost a tiny bit more. But, you know, for years to come, that to be a cornerstone of the community is just so important. When you plant the flag as an organization about a cause to support your customers, the small business owners, and you drive that as a marketing campaign, it says so much. Because until we had this conversation, I realized that our journey as a small business owner, literally shop small was an American Express shop small initiative. I remember getting the decals and putting them and then posting this content on Facebook and Instagram because that was back in the day. But now to see where we are, where TikTok 
is the top of it, it it is the where the conversation is because that's where the attention is can you tell me about the strategy behind getting people at the highest levels to buy into a platform because when I talk to business owners, the most uncomfortable thing I can talk about is TikTok because they're like, I'm not going on TikTok. I'm not doing dancing videos. I'm not doing trending videos. But when I explain to them, literally all it is, is giving somebody access to your story. You're bringing somebody into your shop. You're bringing someone into your restaurant by turning the camera onto you, onto your staff, onto the things that you care about, whether it's toast, your point of sale system, and we're unboxing a toast. People are like, why are you making a toast unboxing video? Well, we're doing it to let our customers know that we care about digital hospitality. We care about improving their steps of serving, making it as easy as possible for people to buy barbecue. Yeah, so th this was really rooted in the insights we have talking to small business owners. And some of those insights are, you know, more and more of their spend is coming online, right? And actually in this, this holiday season, small business owners are saying to us, 20 to 30% of my spend is actually gonna come online this year. And when I look at that, maybe half of that is actually coming from social, right? So social driving to online commerce, as you said a little bit earlier. And so we really looked at where are you spending today? Where are you comfort? And, and I would say the comfort often is in the Facebook, the Instagram, right? And, and they've refined that. And when we talk to them about, you know, what demographics, though, do you want to serve? Who do you not feel like you're getting, right? And that's where they often are saying, am I really attracting that next generation, that millennial, that Gen Z population? And showing them some of the data of just how impactful TikTok is as yep. a platform, particularly to that generation. And not just for the entertainment piece, that for the social commerce piece yes. and the yes. social searching piece of it for your next product. And we're actually seeing, which is really exciting, is, is that whole experience of commerce is being accelerated on these platforms. You know, you're gonna do your search ask recommendations and buy maybe in, in one or two sessions versus over three weeks, you know, going to different websites. And so that acceleration is really important for small business owners to be in that conversation. And when we talk to them, you can imagine that the small business owners, there was some hesitation around the platform, right? Sure. And so we're really trying to give them some of the tips around how can you be authentic and tell your story and you may, we may not have to show you, it may just be your, you know, your, your, your back office, the people who work there, your customers, right? So we had to get them over, like, you don't always have to be the star and I don't right. want to be a big creator, but you have a story to tell. And that's, you know, one of my favorite things of working for small business owners, each of them got into it because they had a passion, they wanted to experience autonomy. Um, and it, it, it's bigger than themselves. And you get them talking about it, it's, it's, it's magical. Um, and I think sharing those stories being TikTok is, is very important. Well, what's exciting for us as a show to have someone like you on that understands what's happening, this ecosystem in sales and marketing, this social commerce is that we always say to, to be the show, not the commercial. Nobody wants to be advertised to. I have a five-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter, and they know when they're watching YouTube kids, when an advertisement comes in, they know how to skip the content. Like, But if a creator is there showing off an Elsa doll or a dinosaur that they purchased, what do you think they do? Their natural tendency is to tell mom and dad or tell Santa, hey, this is what I want for Christmas. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the creator economy. You said it perfectly is business owners are the original creators. We're here in a creator economy where people are very good at video storytelling. They're very good on Instagram, very good on YouTube, very good on TikTok. But now we're at a place where as a business owner, we have to remember we've been the original creator. We've already convinced our significant other of our crazy dream and our crazy idea. We convinced investors, we convinced our community, we convinced vendors to work for it. Like we did all of that in real life. Now it's just, how do you put that camera on and how do you publish that? Well, these platforms have given us the ability to publish that. And then the fact that a financial institution like American Express for Cabbage is willing to give us the data to say, hey, not only is this the data of how businesses, other businesses are growing their business, 
you in, using social media, using social commerce, connecting a website link to a social profile. Not only that, but also this is something that we support because this is how we support small business. And now that credibility standpoint from a financial lens, like American Express by Cabbage partnering with TikTok is a huge, huge deal for me, for every small business owner that listens to this show and for any other adjacent hospitality brand that listens to this show, because we talk about it every single week about, and that's why we celebrate people that are creators on TikTok that used to be chefs and are now have 3 million uh, fans on TikTok and they've stopped working as a chef and they're getting paid by Walmart and Toys R Us and major league baseball teams and NFL teams. Well, that is actually happening. And it's a way to be bigger than your village. It's a way to grow profitability within your business. And, and I, I think that last point on the profitability standpoint, Sean, I'd, I'd love to talk about that a little bit more because, you know, the other thing that we're feeling is particularly this holiday season is, is more complex for business owners. And what they're saying to us is 53% are seeing uh, higher costs and the higher costs are coming in a few forms. Marketing, two thirds are saying, I'm going to spend more and how do I get efficient? And so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Employees, how do I retain my existing employees, particularly during the holiday season? How do I attract employees? Do base salaries need to be higher? Do I have to give holiday bonuses? Those are a lot of things that are going through their mind. And then also supply chain. They are still feeling the effects of some supply chain snarl and trying to buy things a little bit earlier, even before customers buy it. And they're even diversifying their suppliers. And that can be good but that can also come at the expense of some bulk discounts that they used to get in previous years. And so one of the things we're also talking about is, can we help them particularly in that marketing efficiency? As you, as you alluded to earlier, you know, this can be a very effective cost efficient channel if done the right way. Yes. And really thinking about how can we help them that you're actually not spending more on marketing, but you're just getting more effective in marketing. Well, you're, it's even more than that because you're amplifying the marketing. You know, what, what we haven't talked about is what a great ad product TikTok has. The ad product that TikTok is building out is only in the beginning stages of what it will be. But the ad product is amazing right now as it is. And, you know, back to you don't need a media team to create video content for your restaurant or for your small business. You have everything you need in your pocket. And now a quick break from restaurant influencers to share an exciting new offer from our sponsor, Atmosphere TV. Go to atmosphere.tv forward slash BBQ to not only get Atmosphere TV for free, but also our audience is given the gift of $200 in ad credits, as well as free activation. Join more than 40,000 other venues who use Atmosphere TV by signing up with the code BBQ at atmosphere.tv forward slash BBQ. Keep guests entertained with Atmosphere TV because you have the ability to turn your promotions and your advertisements onto your television with this platform. The simple plug and play device lets you take control of the content on your screens. Keep guests entertained, engaged, and informed of real-time specials, career opportunities, and announcements that you can personalize within your own custom content dashboard. Tap into great channels such as America's Funniest Home Videos, Fashion, Throttle, Chive TV, Sports Highlights, Red Bull, Real Madrid, along with unbiased news and entertainment. There is something for everyone. Over 60 curated channels of short form, entertaining content to choose from right at your fingertips. They also have an incredible ad supported network that allows you to not only market within your four walls, but also locally or nationally if you desire. The platform gives you full control to dial in your marketing efforts. Please go and visit atmosphere.tv slash BBQ and let them know restaurant influencers sent you. So, uh, I do want to talk about the 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 funding side of businesses, the cash flow side of businesses, and making that an easy online process. Um, you know, I, I we talk about digital hospitality also on this show, and that's understanding that things don't need to be the way that they used to be. We have technology that has enabled us to get more business done in an easier fashion. And the case that I always bring up is the DMV. 
And when I go and I give speeches and I talk to people, I say, you know, what's the worst place that you get customer service? And everyone says the Department of Motor Vehicles, the DMV. Well, two years ago, I went to the California DMV here in San Diego to renew my driver's license. And I went online, I filled out my forms online so that when I could get there, I would be able to go and have an appointment. Well, I get to the DMV and it's eight o'clock when it opens and there's a huge line. I'm talking 70, 80 people in line. And I started getting anxiety like, oh my gosh, I don't want to wait in line. I've got another appointment later in the day. And I went to the person that was checking people in. I said, I had an appointment. She goes, oh, you're in this door. It was a different door. And I went through the door and I renewed my driver's license within 13 minutes with an eye exam. And I was out of the DMV. So if the DMV can figure out digital hospitality and companies like American Express and Cabbage understand that the onerous process of trying to get a loan, trying to get funding, trying to get a credit card, all of these things are all barriers to entry to growing our business. Well, you guys have created solutions to that. Can you talk about those solutions? When, when we looked at this process of getting capital, which is a very important process to small businesses at all stages of their life, I would say I, I was horrified at times, right? That customers telling us they would spend 24 hours gathering paperwork, 24 hours gathering their paperwork, submitting that to a financial institution, waiting how, how long, a long time to get an answer. And when that answer came back, they may not even be funded for the full amount that they asked for. And so we were, you know, and really Cabbage took that problem and said, you know, as we're getting much more digitally connected with your financial institutions, there has to be a better way that we can underwrite you in a very seamless manner in under 10 minutes, all digitally connecting your business bank account or your bank account, looking at your personal and your business information. And so that really, I would say, is, is one of the marquee products is we have a digital line of credit, a uh, cabbage line of credit, which gives you loan from 2000 to 250000 wow. You can apply digitally online in less than 10 minutes, get a decision. And what is very unique about this product is it's a multi-draw line of credit with different durations. So you can take a six, a 12 and 18 month loan. So it's a little bit of like, what's the need? Okay, I want 18 months because I'm opening a second location and there's a lot I need to do before that's gonna pay back. But you know, a refrigerator broke, I'll, I'll take a six month loan to fix that because that'll get me my business back up and running. And so we really wanna kind of give you that flexibility to run the different use cases that you need there. But one of the biggest ones I would say that I talk about is, you know, people do have a feeling of debt is always bad, right? And we talk about there's, there's some growth, there's some growth debt and there certainly is some, some bad debt. So I'm not advocating for that. But a story I'll tell you, Sean, is, you know, met a, a, a owner who owned a few wine shops in New York City. And we were talking about, is there an opportunity to get a loan? And, he, you know, wasn't saying like I needed a loan. And I talked about how are you buying your wine? And he had a few suppliers. And I said, how do you get bulk discounts? He's like, you know, I don't buy enough to really get a bulk discount. And I said, what if you took a bigger loan and did a big order, right? And you got a, a pretty big bulk discount. Now that would help defray some of the costs of the loan. But quite frankly, I hope that would help you just be a, a have more variety in your store. And so tried it out, you know, months later, talk to that small business owner again, and really helping I'm having more traffic, because I have more variety in my store, I can advertise some of these hard to find items, you know, that draws people in and they buy multiple products when they're in the store. So that's the other thing I would say, you know, don't think of it as black and white. There's always some of these opportunities where, you know, if you can do timing, if you can buy a little bit more upfront, it actually will save you money in the long term. That's amazing. Can you, so we have a lot of sales professionals and marketing professionals, a hospitality space that listen to this show. Can you talk from a high level of how do you go about a campaign? How do you get people, how do you get, do you get awareness and the calls to action, the actual conversions for something like this, this campaign with TikTok? Yeah. So, so it, it starts with what's the idea and what's the message. That's what I always lead with. Right. And it, it, it starts with, okay, 
we have to have a need. And if, and small business owners don't have this need, it's just going to go in that endless pile of <laughs> junk mail and yeah. things you're just going to swipe one way or the other. So it really needs to be a need. You know, we're playing in a space financial services where capital, getting customers, getting your marketing more efficient is top of mind for a lot of folks. So we feel in a good space. And then it really is, what is that message and simplicity of the message, right? I always kind of say, my test is, I bump into someone in an elevator, I have that 30 seconds down the elevator ride, how can I explain it to them? Can't explain what you're trying to do in your campaign, you're not gonna be able to do that digitally, you're not gonna be able to do that in different areas. And then I think the, the latest is, what are the different formats, right? How yep. does this work in print? How does this work in video? And how do you make this so it's gonna be easy to share? And those, you know, sound easy does hard, uh, but those are the things we think about as, as we do campaigns like this. Right. Can you talk more about the shareability piece? Cause I think that's that's very interesting. So from a, from a shareability perspective, you know, one of the things that we really focus on in the small business community is often small businesses have a network of other small business owners, right? And so that referral network is just so valuable. And it may be people in your same industry, right? So I wanna to talk to other restaurateurs, or it may be a small business owner in a completely different industry, but they're at the same life stage. I'm two years in, you know, I'm 10 years in, what do I, what do, I do next? And so we really think about like, who are those cohorts they're spending time with and how can we A, make it easy to share, um, and, and make sure that topic is going to be shareable probably a little bit more broadly, not just in your industry, but across the small business community if we can. And how do you go about selecting the right campaign partner? Yeah, you know, that, that's, that's a process where I think American Express has years of experience, right? And have tested a lot of partners over the years. So I, I think we have a little bit of a, a leg up. You know, one of the things I always though love as I'm looking at the partners is, you know, authentic storytelling, I think is just so important. And I think it's timeless. And so I, I, I think about that characteristic as I'm talking to these potential partners. It's really important to me. So as far as anybody that's listening to this, that listens to this at a later date, um, you know, not date specific, but what is what is the overall, you give us the 30 seconds, what's the overall partnership that, that American Express with Cabbage has with TikTok ongoing? Sure. So um, right now, if you go to Shop Small Accelerator, there are a series of tools from American Express on how to improve your uh, community, your social uh, media presence from some great creators who have done it well, small business owners and non-small business owners. And through December, there is an offer there that you can get a hundred dollar advertising credit uh, for with, with TikTok. And that's through December really to get you through that holiday season. And then what, what do we have planned for 2023? Can you tease us anything? Can you break, give us any breaking news? <laughs> Uh, I, I will tease you with, with some current things we have out there. The other thing, as I, I mentioned, the Cabbage Business Line of Credit, um, currently we are offering a $250 cash incentive if you open one of those line of credits between now and the end of February. And we really did that in combination with Small Business Saturday. Again, as you gear up for this holiday season, small business owners are saying 60% of them are looking for cash flow management tools right now to make sure they can manage the season and manage the potential uncertainty in 2023. We wanted to make that easier for them. We wanted to make that more rewarding for them. That's phenomenal. And for those of you that are listening to the show, if you, uh, if you, if you want to get more involved, we always say my grandfather taught me to stay curious, to get involved and to ask for help. And one of the platforms that helps us do that is Clubhouse. And every Wednesday and Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, we do a digital hospitality room um, on that platform. So if you listen to this show and you're a small business owner, a restaurant owner, a creator in sales and marketing, please come up on stage, share your story, ask your questions. It's great for us to engage with our community. Uh, if you want to connect with me, 
it's at Sean P. Walchef, S-H-A-W-N-P-W-A-L-C-H-E-F. That's on TikTok. That's on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, all the all the handles. And if you want to find Brett Sussman, you can find him on LinkedIn. You can find him cabbage.com. Uh, their Instagram handle is at Cabbage Inc. Uh, Brett, when is Cabbage launching their TikTok handle? <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll get back to you on that, Sean. It, 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 <laughs> Sounds it, it, like you might have some help over in that area. You have, you have some qualified gonna, people. Going to use our own you. cooking. Going to use our own cooking. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, we want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you for what you do for small business owners. Um, it's it's super exciting to have you on the show. We believe so much in smartphone storytelling and to to see what what Cabbage is doing, American Express, um, partnering with TikTok and uh, really helping small business owners do what we believe in in our heart. And that's no one's going to come tell your story, tell your story yourself, but use the tools that you know partners are out there offering. So thank you, Brett. For, we really appreciate it. My, my, my pleasure. And I would just say it's an important time for small business owners. If you're out there shopping, please shop local. Thanks yeah. so much for your time today. Thank you so much, Brett. And a special thank you to our title sponsor, Toast. Toast is the primary technology partner that we use at our restaurant, Cali Barbecue. It is also the primary technology partner that so many of the guests have shared with us on this show. People like Sam, the cooking guy, Stacy Poonkinney, Jeff Alexander. So many times the guests tell us that they're using Toast when we didn't even know that going into the interview. That is why we are so grateful that they sponsor this show. We want you to win. You that listen to this show, we want you to improve your digital hospitality. Toast is built for restaurants and it's built for you. Toast is the restaurant first platform that's built for your needs, whatever your size, concept, or ambitions. Improve your bottom line with a customizable platform that's easy to learn, use, and grow with. And it meets you where you are with all the right tools for your price point. If you have any questions about Toast, please DM me at Sean P. Walchef, S-H-A-W-N-P-W-A-L-C-H-E-F. I will get you the link to the right Toast contact in your market. It's so important that if you listen to this show, that you win. We want you to be on this show eventually. Let us know that you heard the show, you heard about Toast, you implemented Toast, you did a Toast unboxing in your restaurant. Talk to us about how you've impacted your village, your city, your community. Share your Toast story with us. DM me today to learn more and be sure to check out Toast.